God can bless the little you have in such a way. And you don't have to have my word on it. You have God's word on it. In fact, the prophet Haggai in chapter 1, verse 6, he's talking about those who do not fear the Lord, those who do not place God at the center of their life, but they're making buckets of money. He said, basically, they keep stuffing that money in a bag. And the problem is they can't get blessed. They can't get blessed. And stuffing the bag can't get blessed. Why? He said, there's a hole at the bottom. <laughs> the more they pile in, the more it goes out. When God is at the center, he blesses. He blesses your coming and your going. He blesses the money is blessed. The time is blessed. The family is blessed. Joy and happiness become your companions. And contentment, regardless of your circumstances, will be your lot. David said, I was young. Now I'm old. I have never, never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his children begging for bread. God never forsakes the righteous. He never forsakes the one whose God is at the center of their life. Listen, I know the Lord doesn't give us what we want. Sometimes he does, but not often. Ah, but he always gives us what we need. He always gives us what we need. You know, the apostle Paul said, my God shall supply, what? All. All of your needs according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. It's not a secret that happiness is an elusive commodity in our culture. Oh, people spending their lives and spending their money, they're trying to get happiness, but they can't find it. When the center is right, happiness will dwell in you permanently. It will dwell in your family permanently, regardless of your circumstances, regardless of the ups and downs of life. It's going to dwell in you. 